This conference is the largest AI conference in the country that has been held with an overwhelming response and resounding success with 2000 plus participation of academics, researchers, IT professionals, students and representatives from the government organizations. And this conference is deliberating on a lot of issues which have a real place for the people's issues to be solved. And uh, from the tracks of fintech to the agritech to the health sciences, to the life sciences to foundational research in AI, there are close to eight and nine tracks that include journalism, creative media industry, and all the issues that are related to the commons in all of these sectors is being jotted down. And the deliberations are being held to see on how do we solve problems for the commons. This conference began with, with the launch of a AI model where basically where people communicate with the machines. There were three farmers who lost their deer once because of electrocution. It's not that the farmers do not know how to switch a motor on or a switch a motor off, but rather they just got electrocuted because when they water the fields, they get drenched in water and one droplet of water from their little finger or index finger, finger when they switch on the button is sufficient to be electrocuted. And this AI model that we built enables the farmers to communicate with machines. And while doing so, it made it really possible for them to give oral commands, either to switch the motor on or switch the motor off. They can do it remotely, they can do it near the borewell site, or they could uh, uh, at the borewell site. And I think this is something which is going to be a path-breaking thing, because farmers being able to communicate with machines, agricultural workers being able to communicate with machines, we are only one step away from people with different languages being able to speak to each other. The only thing that is required is language models in different uh, languages and then there is already a bridge of being able to talk to one another. And the four, three farmers we have called them. One is a mother of a farmer who died because of electrocution. Her name is Bhimamma. The other woman whose husband passed away because of electrocution and her name is Ashamma and there was Basavaraj who lost his brother. There are thousands of farmers who just get electrocuted, not because they don't know the why and how of switching on and switching off motors, but rather because of the harsh climatic conditions or the harsh conditions in which they need to live and work. And this conference is a resounding success, the first of its kind in India. And I thank all the people and the support that we got from everyone in making this conference a grand success. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to my startup TV.